Hey, y'all, it's Aunt Charlene. And Cheryl Bustamante. Well, don't y'all come down there to McDonald's looking for us anymore. Well, just between you and me, I knew it wasn't going to work out with that old stuck-up regional manager hussy, Miss Mary Ellen Burlow, mm. with her fake-ass wig and those titties so big you could put an eye out with them. And sweet Jesus, those fake green contacts I thought we was working for a slee stack. Well, during that orientation, she said, Why are y'all here? I said, Hell, you hired us, didn't you? And she said, No, ain't Charlene. I mean, why do you want to work at McDonald's? Why do we want to work at McDonald's? Well, it sure as hell wasn't for them damn uniform breeches. My butt never looked so big. And what's with those sun visors? What the hell are we serving burgers or are we going to watch Venus and DeMilo at the Wimbledon? During training, she said, Look here, we fry up these burgers and then we stick them in this here metal cabinet to sit. And then when somebody wants one, we wrap it up and place it in this. And I said, what, this microwave? Well, then she said, oh, Miss Charlene, that ain't a microwave. It's a queuing oven. I said, a queuing oven? You mean to tell me if I stuck my Hot Pocket in that damn thing, it wouldn't come out the same? She didn't like that. We got to where we was calling her Delta Burke on account of she wears too damn much of that makeup, and she's too fat for those little bitty clothes that she always has on. Well, one day old Delta Burke come in there and said, will you go get Steve out of the stock room and tell him to get on his register? Well, I leaned over the bin and said, ain't Charlene... Delta Burke wants Steve to his register. Well, Dipstick over here hollers out, Steve, Delta Burke wants you at the register. Well, she didn't like that. Well, I wasn't thinking. I had, my, I had my mind on something else. Did you have your hot pocket in the queuing oven? I had it somewhere. Last week, I got to work so hungover, I didn't realize for an hour that my shirt was on inside out. <laughs> then old fat Eleanor turns to me and says, Hey, Charlene, freeze your stock, please. I don't know why I'm the only one that can go in there first thing in the morning to get that damn freezer stock for the afternoon. Well, it ain't in, like she ain't got the patent for it. In the middle of damn winter, the truck's heater doesn't fire up until I'm already at work. I and then I get in there, freezing to death, with my tie tie lips frozen shut, and that old fat bitch turns to me and says, Freezer stock, please. I said, you know what? You have more insulation than I do, especially covering up that old Lulu. Why don't you haul your ass in there and do freezer stock? Well, we had one of those Ronald McDonald impersonators come by one day. We were sitting in the break room, and he was putting on his makeup. Well, there was an old Michael Jackson video on, and I don't know what come over me. So well, I leaned over and said, do you grab your crotch while you're signing autographs for them children out there? Well, hell, he looked at me like I had slapped him in the face with a damn dick. I didn't know he was a Christian missionary. <laughs> And then he goes and runs and tells Delta. <laughs> when I got done choking to death after that, I, I went down the hall and called him a big old pussy. And then here comes old Delta Burke. She called me in that office and said, Hey, Charlene, seems like you have an attitude problem. Maybe you just need to go on and find employment elsewhere. I said, Lady, the day I take lip from some painted-ass chihuahua like you is the day I ate those onions that Brian Albert LeMay peed in that day. Well, she didn't like that. Well, she shoved me out of the way and tried to grab that gravy. That Q and oven roof fell right down on top of that gravy and splashed all over her. She let out a holler so loud, her damn blouse come open. That button flew across, hit the damn customer right in the eye. <laughs> Did he want coke with that? <laughs> I didn't know you could have varicose veins on your titties. That is just about the most ugly thing I have ever seen. And I have been in the burger industry for quite a while. Mm. I did the only thing I could think of. I grabbed that Big Mac sauce gun and I covered those Big Macs up. Well, she didn't like that. Mm. You don't know anybody that's hiring, do you?